babe. I just don't understand. What's the problem? I just don't understand why we gotta go through the same shit every day. Damn, like this some bullshit. You be on that bullshit. You on that 718, can't get a f- You really wanna fuck me cause you know that really different. That pussy but I purr like a little kitten. You begging. Asking me to let him stick the tipping. Hold on, let me feel your ass. No. <laughs> so, so that's why the... Let me feel your bellies. Yeah. So, yeah. That's only one belly. It's your underwear line. Nah, it's like, it's two, but I, I'm, I'm sucking it in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little yeah, bit, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Okay, let me not suck it in and then feel. Feel now. Okay. Oh, okay, it's but like I feel pop. one. No, but then I have the skin. I'm sorry, like, this is like two TMI for them. Anyway. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? We were trying to tell T you came out here with oh, a massage. Oh, um, Jimmy and... The tea is, there was a get-together with Amber's friends, the one from uh, Hawaii. And one of the friends needed a ride home. And um, they live like their neighbors, practically. So, so, allegedly, the friend took that person in their car and uh, okay, so kind of demanded the one, gas. No, I guess the... This is the story I heard. And by the way, we have no drama in our friend group. It's so drama. I was like it's living drama. I'm for telling it. you it's drama. Yeah. So, um, sorry, I didn't brush my teeth, so I don't want you to smell it. Wait, wait, why wouldn't you brush your teeth and you come in close like this? No, you know what? Come back. Just put mouthwash and come back. Yeah. But, I, but why Can would you, you smell it? No, but why would you even say it? Now, now I'm thinking about your breath and I wasn't even thinking about your breath, bro. Okay, here, I'll take the phone. Yeah. Okay. Um, so basically this is what I heard. And, um, I, you know, apparently Mikey's getting super sensitive and caused wait, so wait, much wait. trouble Tell last night. Sort of Mikey is her man. He takes yeah. care of the He's kids. He's a teacher and he and helped it. Billy yeah. Ray with his speech and all these things that I needed help with. Yeah. And so he's here helping teach. But he's friends with my friend that gave our other friend a ride home. Now our other friend left the wife at the bar with us. And then he got a ride home, but we can't let Mikey hear us or I'll come up no, and let, light us no, up. No, he's going to light us up. Light us up. And he's right on the other side of that window. He told me that he's a new, the undiscovered bad girl. Yeah, he did. He yeah. did. He's yeah. like, I'm, I'm a bad well, girl. Well, no, tell him the story. Tell him the story. Oh, so our friend asked my girlfriend, hey, can I catch a ride from you? She lives one block away. So he's like, it's going to be a 30-minute drive. I could go home later, but I could catch a ride with you so I can go relieve our babysitter as well. Both of them had to go relieve their kids' as babysitters. So she asked him for gas money, and yeah. he didn't know what to do when so he got he home. So he called his wife. And his wife, I don't know. So that's where everything bro, started. Bro, she why told are you all asking, our friends. Why are you ask, I don't want to say it loud, but why are you asking for gas money if somebody's your neighbor? That's that's what everybody like, like my, all of us everybody except for him because he won a tap finds an issue with this like everyone like everyone I, but him he thinks if a, you're a man you offer gas money I never went anywhere without offering gas money yeah forty dollars is a little much but twenty bucks she asked for forty dollars to drop him I don't know she asked her if he gave her forty I don't know she that. asked for forty dollars for him to be for him to be dropped off next door to my brother. I smell it too. I can taste it. You have what? No, 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 no! Don't read. Don't what? listen. Don't listen. What? Don't listen to what? what oh, Ismiel Dental Clinic. What? Dude, I'm. Can I? Ismiel Dental Clinic joined for me to b b brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Should you have what? Should I have no, no. They're trying to um go live. Nah, nah. I can't. I only mess with one dentist, Doctor B. You gotta meet him. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so $40. Yeah. Um, so then, yeah. there's a new rumor. We had that dance competition, and Jimmy performed just for fun. She wasn't trying to, like, win the dance competition. The same girl, I don't think. The same girl, we call her Jimmy, who wanted the $40 for dropping the neighbor next door, okay? Amber's birthday that I flew in for. That's how I surprised her ass. Yeah. So apparently she was competing and then she's pissed, right? No, that's the rumor. I don't know if Alan made it up or if the girl actually said something. But somebody went up to her and said, hey, are you leaving early because you didn't make it to the next round? <laughs> they said that to her. Oh, apparently, um, Christopher, the red-haired girl, yeah. said that to them. Wow. 
bad. Oh, are you just upset that you didn't make it to the next round? That's why you're leaving early. And that's why Mikey's mad. Because Mikey's like, no, she's leaving because her babysitter had to leave at like 1 a.m. She only had to 1 a.m. Right. And the dance competition went late. Because remember, we were late. We were late. Yeah. Come on. I, anything we were on special. Amber time. No, my time. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I saved my myself time. There. Yeah, yeah, my time. It's my time too. It's, it is it's your time. It's both of our time. Yeah. But we always late. Mm -hmm. A little bit. We always late. Always, just a little bit. Yeah. So, anywho. So yeah. So, so that was the drama. So that's the drama. So he's, meanwhile, he's trying to tap. Um, Mikey's trying to tap Jimmy's ass. <laughs> and so, Mikey. Um, he right there. He right there. He right there. He right there. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Can you hear me? So Mikey's trying to tap Jimmy's ass. And he, for some reason, I think he tells her yeah. that everybody's talking coming to shit. Yeah. I think he tells her that everybody's talking shit and saying she asked for gas money. Like thinking like, oh, I'm I'm telling her like we can me and her are gonna agree We're on. We're on But it's going to make her not want to bounce up on it because yeah because now she's going to associate sad feelings should we ask him if he's a bad girl today should i open it i think he's listening too because the door is cracked yo he's mad look because Andrew was like oh he's mad funny i was like he's a little weird to me because it's rough around the edges in the beginning but then as i the more days I say, you guys, yeah. he's funny as shit. He's, he be fun. popping off. Yeah. Always. He be popping off, but he's a teacher. So he's like mad smart, mad helpful. And then out of, out of nowhere, he just comes. He, he pops just, off when he's teaching too. He gets he in does? trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He pops oh, off. yeah. He told me that he went off over the vaccine. Oh, Early yeah. When he was teaching, COVID had came out and they was forcing him to get the vaccine and this and that and the third. And apparently he told him to go to hell and suck his whatever. Because they insisted he get the vaccine. I'm oh, yeah. He was getting the, the swab test every day. Oh, yeah. To go in. Because they're trying to force everybody to get the vaccines. And you guys agree with us, right? You don't what? think anybody should be getting forced to get a vaccine, right? I never did. I never did. But yeah. you didn't end up getting COVID, right? Did you know that Trump came out and said he's going to run for um, election? I saw that. I saw that this week. Okay. Did you know he said one thing? Yeah. I never voted for him. I don't like him. Yeah. I don't want him to run. I know. But did you know he said one thing that possibly could maybe get my vote if no one else does it? What? Okay, remember in the beginning of the pandemic when yeah. they said that they were doing, um, that the doctors and the nurses are all our heroes. Yeah. They're our heroes, praising them, acting like they're the, you know, the prince of Egypt or something. I don't know. Princess Diana. I don't know when she was alive. Yeah. They were acting like the doctors and the nurses are like the best people in the world. We need to like praise them, whatever. Meanwhile, when the vaccine comes out, some of those doctors and nurses don't want to get the vaccine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, some of mm -hmm. them don't want it. Mm -hmm. If they're a doctor and a nurse and they don't want the vaccine, shouldn't you, instead of trying to force them to get the vaccine, maybe think about it and be like, I wonder why they don't want the vaccine. Is there a reason right. that a doctor wouldn't get the vaccine right. or a nurse wouldn't get the vaccine? Nope. These people force these doctors and nurses to get the vaccines or they tell them you're going to get fired. You're going to lose your job. And on top of it, they won't give them unemployment. Mm. So apparently this, and I'm hearing this third through my husband because he likes Trump. Yeah. Um, my husband said Trump came out and said that he is going to like basically all these people that got fired mm -hmm. for not getting the vaccine, mm -hmm. he's gonna reimburse them yeah. for the money they lost and they're gonna get a formal apology from the White House. What? I'm telling you, yeah. that is so cool to me. I mean they I they did do a lot. not like him. Yeah. I've never voted for him. I don't wanna vote for him. I don't want even want him to run. But if no one else does that, yeah. And doesn't look out for the people like that are heroes. heroes. Yeah. You gonna say they're the hero in the beginning when you don't know shit, but then when you get your vaccine, you want to force them to get it? Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. A lot of know. people. A lot of people lost their jobs. I actually knew people in the entertainment <clears throat> industry who were on the phone crying with me because in order for them to work and make a living, they were forced into getting it. And I'm, you know, personally, you guys, I, you know, my stance is you do what's best for you. Like I don't, 
I'm not against it or for it either way, but I personally feel like this is your life. This is your body. The, you should have the choice. That's what I thought America was all about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you're, you're right. You know, if you had that shit you, and, and it was horrible for you, it was terrible for me. I, un- that, not for me, but for like Harry, I understand like someone like me saying, oh, I'm going to bypass the vaccine. It wasn't so bad. But someone like Harry who went through hell, you know what I mean? He might want to take it. And it should be your right and your choice. You should have the option and the freedom to choose. Mm-hmm. Now, I am not endorsing Trump. <laughs> I just want to pre- let me continue on and say that. I, 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 I am not. You don't, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Um, I'm not a fan. Well, but I, he makes me laugh. He does because he's a shit show. But for me, it's but like too many, run. bro. Too many it's black, too, too many black people fucking died on his watch, bro. It was it was wild. It's like a free for all. So if 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 he has, if he ever had to come back, in my opinion, as a black woman, I would want to know that is like is all that bullshit done? You know what I mean? Because it wasn't. Oh, but it, no. It was like, it was like a shit show. Okay, but I will tell you what my husband thinks about all that. Yeah. He thinks that all of those protests and all of that kind of stuff was kind of like put on uh-huh. to get Trump out of office. So when we were in those, like when the states, the Democratic people were in charge of the state, the Democrats who mm. locked down the states, locked down the jobs, froze everything, didn't let people go to work. Yeah, all my head, that, just so you know, my to, head is starting to hurt me with this to conversation. To protect them, to protect. I, I cannot deal. I cannot deal. What you said? He finessed what? The Capitol? Wait, did Amber said she would vote for Trump? What the fuck? Guys. No, I didn't say it. She didn't I, say. I said, She's, listen to what she said in context. First of all, let I me just say. No one else yeah. is going to look after our doctors and nurses yes. that ended up getting fired. And then they took away unemployment. They said, you're fired, but you also, you're not entitled to unemployment. Normally when you get fired, yeah. you get unemployment. Right. That's how it works. Yeah. That's how the government works. They basically put some provision in there where people who get fired for not getting the vaccine yeah. will not get unemployment. And yeah, a lot that of pissed people, me off. A lot of people ended up going under because of it, too. Now, ask for your me, mom if any of her friends. I'm going to ask fired. her, too. Yeah. Because she has a lot of friends in the, in the hospital. hospital. It's, it's true. Okay. And I, I get that. But, guys, I have friends from all different walks of life. Amber is not the only one who is, um, you know, non-black. And or on the fence, and everyone varies. I even have some black friends that are very for Trump. I have Latino friends that are very, you know, for Trump. I have friends who were all for him in the beginning, and then they were like, "Fuck this! It's too much." Excuse my language. Um, I thought he was. I was. I told you guys. I tell you guys this all the time. I actually was a fan before he started running. I was a huge fan of The Apprentice. Um, I loved how he ran all of his businesses. I was a supporter of at his casinos and all of that for many years until he started talking wild. And that was my honest truth. Once he started talking wild, it started off with grab them by the you know what. I was like, what the fuck is this? Is this SNL or not? Well, you've got to grab them by the pussy, otherwise you're never going to get laid. Well, yeah, but a president, I think that context for a president is a no-no. Cool. Yeah, not for a president. You know, like well, we, we accept that for a comedian. He, yeah, he needed he, to clean himself he up, bro. A lot of the problems and then, he had. of course, he, he made a lot of those mouth. issues. Yes, at his mouth. Exactly. Okay, so we're on the same page this morning. You see, yeah. v- we have different views, but we're able to have a respectful conversation. That's it. I'm not forcing anybody. I like you to choose, make your own decisions. You know what I mean? How do we get on this topic? I don't remember. Amber just, oh, Amber's, pro- Amber's, yeah, of course he's going to say he's a bad girl. So listen, last night before Amber like takes the phone again and goes off, we went to Ruth Chris, right? I told you guys about all the drama surrounding like the, be- what is it? The, um, the, the girl, this and that, whatever. And Kate, Amber and the husband gets into a big fight at the fucking mall. I don't know why she would fight with him when we got there. But anyway, we're eating Ruth Chris. And for those of you who missed it last night, um, you guys, huh? Who? Oh. Yeah, so. Who what? Who ain't a, I can't say when you're going to be. Okay, so listen. So. Okay, so the fans are torn. I don't know why you got them riled up about this shit. Do me a favor. The polit- politics? No. Okay. I, I know. We agree about the nurses and doctors, bro. But you see, this, time, this is too, the country's in too much of a shambles. Yeah. There's no money. People are stressed.
Hold on one second. I'm getting a call. Okay, guys, we're going to have to pick this up in a few. Let me, I got to get this. Okay, we're going to pick this up later. You guys be safe and be well. What are you guys saying in the comments? I can't see. Kamala. Like, where, where's Kamala? Please don't come for me either. Like, I, this is my opinion. Like, what, what's going on? Like, Wait, wait, why is this, like, we're in a deep, we're talking about it, like, where are the checks, what's, like, people are suffering, bro, people are robbed, they're robbing in broad daylight, it's crime galore, people can't get the help that they need, I mean, I, you know what I'm saying, it's frustrating, and it, we're one of the greatest countries in the world, and I feel like for all the bullshit that we go through, sh shouldn't be, why is inflation the way it is, in a land of abundance, I'm not understanding. Like, I get it. Okay, we had a pandemic. Stuff got slowed down. Production, this and that and whatever. I understand. So there was going to be some delays. But we're like two years after the fact, nah? Like, what's up? What's going on? Okay, y'all are fighting. Kam Kamala, we have a female athlete locked up in another... Oh, don't even get me started on that. Don't even get me start. If nothing else, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you what turned me from the Democratic Party. I've been a Democrat all my life. Okay? I'm going to tell you what deterred me. It's, it's this whole Brittany Griner thing, too. Big, 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 big part of it. I can't even imagine how this is still happening. You see, now I'm getting upset. I don't know. Guys, we will talk later. What you said, Kamala is laughing at all of us. She don't care. Your rent went, your rent went up $600 in a year. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is bullshit. Like, the American people are suffering. Working class people are suffering. You guys are literally living paycheck to paycheck, giving your fucking blood, sweat, and tears to these jobs and literally not getting anything anything for it then they have the nerve to tell us oh social security and, and retirement and pension may, may not be around by the time we get older after we put in so much into this fucking shitty ass earth i'm sick of it bro i gotta go see this is why i don't like to talk about it <sighs> let me talk to y'all when i get a drink in me okay all right <laughs> i love y'all have a blessed day Sorry for ruffling any feathers. I respect everyone's viewpoints. It's totally fine if you want to be a Democrat. It's totally fine if you want to be a Republican. I'm just saying, you know who's going to get my vote? Somebody who gets up on that podium and says, guys, enough is enough. Enough is enough with the census killing. Enough is enough with our American suffering. Enough is enough with the homelessness in this country. Enough is enough with the hunger in this country. Enough is enough. Enough, enough, enough is enough with the race bullshit in this country. I need somebody to get up there and say, it's time for can change and we're going to do this shit now because we can period no excuses no bullshit i want somebody to get up there you know with the balls of steel and fucking save this place i'm sick of it i'm tired i hate seeing what's happening to my fellow brothers and sisters you understand i hate it i hate that so many people are living paycheck to paycheck and suffering like this this is i hate the healthcare shit like what you don't have insurance in this country it's a dub for you. They don't even try to help you. I I'm not understanding. Like, what? <laughs> we we Every time I see something, I'm like, this is what y'all want to place your focus on? Why well, is Brittany Grena an American? I don't care what she said about America. I don't care what she said. Okay? She's an American. Why is she still in? She's a, pr war a prisoner of war at this point. All right, let me go. Because I could keep going. I Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. I'm just is enough. Change. Change. That's what I want to hear. That is who will get my vote. Period. I don't know. I'm aware. I'm aware of some of it. But I, listen, I, I just, I'm not, I'm not concerned about what was. I want it to be better now. Like, I don't want to, I don't want any excuses. You know, it's like, okay, 
we're being patient. This it's like taking too long for real change to happen and for the American people to have like a quality like a quality of life that's acceptable. That's all. That's all. There's too many people struggling here. That's all. It's weird to me. All right, you guys. Take care. All right? Be safe. I'll talk to you. Do you see why I don't like him? How about we have anything nice to say about him? This one, right here. And Alan was mad, right? Yeah, yeah. He was kind of upset. Yeah, it was the beginning. It was the beginning of you guys. I remember, because remember you came to my house? I lived in a new building on Vine. Yeah. You came to the barbecue and stuff like that. And you yeah. said you went home, you told Alan, and he was like, Alan, I'm not feeling this guy, but Tanisha, I can't stand him. Yep. He's an asshole. Yeah, I hated it. He was horrible. Like, guys, I had like posted this fancy party, and he was an asshole and, to me the whole night in front of everybody. Because he wanted to be you. He also just wanted to control my mother. Everybody wants to be Tanisha. No. Like... No. I want to be Tanisha, <laughs> but but I'm not a hater. He I'll wanted to control all her. my money. He wanted my cards. He wanted my bank information. He wanted my PIN number. And I was in love with him. I'm not going to sit here and lie. And no matter how much in love I was, I refused, refused to let him handle my money. And that was where the problem started. Wow. My ex. We're talking about my ex. We're very protective of each other. I think, right? Who's, who's more protective? Me or you? You're way more protective. Yeah. I'm also standoffish. I'm protective, but I'm like annoying. Yeah. You're protective right. like you'll fucking die for me. Well, I don't know about die, but I'll, I'll, I'll get that close because I have a son. I'll, 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 whatever I have to do, yeah, because that's just who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get protective of me of shit I don't give a shit about. Yeah, because I don't like bullshit. It's still like, it's not like trivial stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, but like if somebody in the comments says like, oh, something crazy, cookie this, cookie that, yeah, like, like, like I get annoyed. No, you get mad. Yeah, you I start know. blocking them. Yeah, like, I don't like, like that. I don't like that. Don't talk to me rude. This is not nice. I don't know that. I'm nice to them. I say hi to them. You understand? Like I'm very nice. I encourage them. I encourage them to grow up their dreams. I, I talk very nice to these people. I, I expect the same respect in return. That's all. Like I give respect and I expect respect. You understand? Like, and I consider them like more than just my fans at this point. You guys are like my virtual friends. They all say hi to you. Tanisha, I want you to know that you are mobile in such a positive light. You bring so much laughter and joy and positive. You see? Positivity to people across the world through social media. And I enjoy that about you. I love you. Thank you so much. Who said that? Get like reload. Thank you, love. That's so sweet. Love us. I'm watching Cookie season right now. I love what? I love. I thought they brought you back on. All the comments asking about Carrie. He's at home. Stop blowing me up. You might be watching. Y'all making it hot. I said something about a guy. So what? Let it slide. You know, you know I can't help myself. Are you with Carrie? No. Carrie's at home. I mean, Carrie's working. He'll be home soon. Make sure I just love you so much. You just said my name. I can't. Yeah, I don't know the name. It's, I think it's Get Like Relo. What's that name, Cookie? Get Like Arlo. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, Lillian. I want to see you clap them pops again. I love you too. Hi, DJ. Um, you and Cookie are awesome together. Thank you, Miss Rivera. I love when you Cookie get together. Me too. I'm so sad I'm leaving her in a few hours. Now we're going to go chill at the house. She wants me to work. Please tell her to leave me alone. I did more videos here than I did all year. Tell her to leave me alone. Let me relax. Yeah, tell her to let me relax, please. I'm going back to work. You just want me to post them, right? Huh? Huh? Amber. Yeah, they love. Do I watch? No, I don't. I don't watch Unique. Hi, baby. Soon, uh, Vi, while they're asking so many questions, I was just telling my man, are you Cookie and Rocky are my favorite all the time. Do you talk to Rocky? No, you know, but I like her. Yeah? I did. She can't stand me. I've never did anything to that girl. I don't even know that girl, bro. Like, it's weird. It's weird to me. I don't even, I don't know her. Like, Cookie, I've never had any interaction with this girl. And every like, time I've had girls that just get to Bro, up every up. time I've had an interaction with Rocky, she's been like, we've been cool. And then I go back and then there's like, I, I'm confused. 
I've only the only time I've ever really interacted with her was on the reunion, bro. I'm mad confused. Like, son, what's going on? We want to see our friendship, and then both of y'all fight. I'm gonna block you. We fight. We fight yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna block you, okay? Because you've been here for a while. Ah, uh, we love you guys too. Would I do baddies again? No. They saying Rocky is very weird. Why? What she do? That's one thing with me. I am very nice, but I am slightly mixy. I admit it. I am. I do like Bacchanal. Like, like good, like good drama. Though. Like not you like, like bad. Bacchanal It's called Bacchanal, not bak Baklava. <laughs> Bro, where are the pies? Cookie, you uh -huh. still eating? I just can't stop. You're stop good? eating so much. It. I don't want to touch my put my fingers on it because my hands. I don't have sanitizer. I touch the pen and a lot of put them in my glass and walk it. That's not gonna kill the joints. You touch the pen with this hand, not that hand. I touch the pen with this hand, yeah, but I, I've been touching other things since. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm a germaphobe, you know this. Fine. This is what we argue about, okay? So she can't stand it. And she cookie put your purse. This is alcohol. Put your hand in my drink, it'll kill it. It's alcohol. Put your fingers in there. It's a two kind of break down the ball again. You want, you're responsible for it. So you she put her purse in the middle of the, uh, the, middle of the bathroom and like water. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't put your purse there. It's, a, it's not a real purse. The pumumumumumum. Like like move, 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 move it over the pool, please. Uh, Yo. Here, turn the camera. Uh, yeah, we'll back here, we all yeah, it's like aloha. Put it down. Put it down. Okay. I'm spraying it as soon as we get home with Lysol. Yo. All right, I got to go. I'm stressed out. I got to go because like all this just really... Get the check. I'm, I want to go. Like, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm, everything is dirty. I feel dirty now. I, I'm sorry. Like, I'm a real germaphobe. I'm scared. Like, inside of me, scared. <laughs> no, no Xanax. No. No. Would that make me stop being a germaphobe? No, but it'll help you with the anxiety about the germs. You might just be like... I keep all yeah, there's germs. germs. Some people put germs. germs. You have Xanax like that, like a candy? No, like Alan might have some of our friends. I no, no, no. Well, no, no, what if that's the one? Hell no, that's not my prescription. No. Then what if something happened to me? No, I love, I love my vanilla people, but y'all always offering something nobody asks for. Like, what, what is that? You didn't offer oh, me a piece of cake, you know, some seltzer. Put the, put the purse, don't put the purse on you. Don't put the purse on you. Leave the purse there, it's dirty. Yo, check, excuse me. I gotta go, guys. I gotta go. Bro, don't touch nothing else. Don't touch it. Do me a favor. Push back I know. You're paying again? I'm paying for you. Hold on a second. We're about to fight over. You won't even touch it. She always want to put me like to sleep or something. It's kind of. I appreciate the. But you know, like. I'm the type where. Too much. All right. Cookie, stop. I, I'm paying. I told you I was going to buy. Bro, every single time. Well, whoever gets in. You're going to put what? I'm going to slap you with a tampon if you don't stop. You're going to slap me with a tampon. If you don't stop pulling out your wallet. Do you understand that they put tampons in the fridge on my season? And then you're going to tell me. I didn't know that. They put I tampons just saw in the fridge. A tampon in my on bag. Bad Girls Club season and two. Y'all remember that? was like muzzling you with it. Bro, they put tampons in the fridge on my season. Cookie, stop me. No I told you. I told you I was going to pay. Excuse me. Cookie. No, 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 no. You can't do this. You Why? have to talk to me. There's people that need you right now. I'm coming off the live now. You guys, thank you so much. We will talk later. Okay, here she goes. Cookie, no. stop. Oh, there's somebody who needs... They just asked you about your um, germs. Bro, they're laughing. Bro, give me the card. No, I mean... Where? How much? How they many things me. are you gonna pay for? I know they know you. You just bought me like a expensive ass lunch. Yeah, but bro, yeah, I've been paying for everything all week. I, I know I'm not working, but I have Here's something. It's a deal, Tanisha. You guys you are came rich. here all the way, twelve hour flight to come 11, see me. Eleven hours. I put you in a dirty ass room with a dirty ass bathroom. You have to go to the to the cleaning supply store and buy like a hundred dollars worth of chemicals. Then you spend hours cleaning. First of all, Alan's eating all your food. No, that, honestly, it wasn't dirty. The bathroom needed a little bit of sanitation. I sanitized it. I cleaned it with Clorox wipes. Have you guys, I cleaned it with Clorox wipes? It was not enough. In I am black. Of her. We need multiple and things. And she was like, no, we, we need stop multiple the things. We need Kaboom. We need Comet. We need Clorox. That makes you look like high as fuck. She's like, oh, it's chemicals. chemicals. I'm like, yeah, chemicals clean, bro. Like, that's what they do. No, but you can't mix them. Of course you can. Just don't mix Clorox and ammonia and you're fine. Oh, okay. Clorox and ammonia will take you out. 
Okay. Yeah, every black person know that. Well, you bought $100 Not chemicals. And no, cleaning gloves. products and gloves and everything. Yeah, yeah. She didn't know I was coming, so the place wasn't up to par. Okay, but it's it's a, it's it's a multi-million dollar house. You understand what I'm saying? She needs to get it together. What what we come to the conclusion is, Cookie needs to hire a whole staff. She cannot do this by herself, right? She doesn't want to pay because she wants to keep all the money. You see how rich people are, but you're gonna pay, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. She has no space for her or her husband. They have no adult space. There's toys everywhere. I sat down on a uh, I sat down on a couch and a toy almost took my virginity in my butt. Bro. Like a toy almost went in my ass. Like you're what? Like e toys are everywhere. Toys are in your throat, on your feet. There's so many toys. And that's like I took so many toys and put them up in my loft. What does Amber do for a living? Oh, her husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will see it coming. But she may be an investor. Guys, I don't know if we're really going to be able to work I usually, she's nuts. I usually invest in things that are not successful. Don't say that about me. I'm not saying you. I'm saying, like, that's what I've been doing. So yes. we have to make sure we make it, like, have it. No, 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 no. You are not. If you get all these people a pass, you're not going to come and stress me out. I'm putting money in, too. Me you too. are not. We're but I'll put in more. It doesn't. Yeah, you I have I more. put in ten and you put in two. No, because then you would own the majority of the company. No, no, we still give you the majority. Really? Yeah, like Alan's not greedy and he's the one who like figures all that shit out. Okay, so what's in what it for you? you? I love it, but what's in and it for you? And I'm gonna do all the like bookkeeping yes, and yes. like back end shit that will stress you out. That yeah, because I can't do that. Trouble with the government. Yes. We yes. don't want like Trump or Biden, whichever one is in power, to come after us. Got the bitter Trump. So yeah. I'll do like all the like paperwork, legality, like you gotta file things and we'll do it in either Montana or Florida. So super. So we don't have to pay taxes. Oh, our, like, wait, come on, buddy. Okay, I come on, buddy. I love I it. I love it. I love it. I love um, it. Because we have. The thing is, the thing is, she's really, she really means this, you guys. She really means this. What y'all say? And like, go what? I'll take a little piece, but you'll take majority. Okay. I'll give more money. You put in a little bit. Yeah. And then, but we will work out all the other shit beforehand. And if we can't work it out, we just won't do it. We'll just okay. Stay friends. And you can do it with anyone. So you don't want to do it? No, I want to do it. But like, we'll talk about all that stuff. And we'll make sure like I am on the same page. You guys, here's the deal. Business relationships can ruin friendships. Do you guys want us to risk this? Because it could ruin our friendship if we're not smart. What do you think? Is it worth it? I was thinking about that today when I was getting ready and I wasn't sure. Well, I think if we communicate with each other, here's the thing I don't really listen. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, I feel like you, though. No. No, listen. we don't listen. We do. That girl. But okay, so it's okay if we don't listen to each other if we both are on the same page. And then, and then the husband said, no matter what, somebody said, not worth it. Support what? Positivity? What kind of business? They said, well, y'all real friends. Yeah, what if we don't listen to each other? Do we still do a business together? We like. I mean, I think we sit down and talk about it and figure out what we like. What like what the plan? The plan, and you see what I, my vision is. And then you tell me if you would have not. The, the, the issue is cooking. I'm worried you might like the way you want to do it, which is awesome and which is what sold me the way you want to do the business. I'm worried it might be a little in over your head. You said, you, but you said you have the money. Money doesn't matter Thank when you we're so in much. over yes. your head. Thank you. What do you mean? If you have money, you can make anything happen. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, he loves us. He does. He does. He bought us our cocktails. Thank you. 51% each. Somebody said they don't think they'll we'll let business ruin our relationship. I mean, I wouldn't. No, no. I'll walk away. I'd just be like, fuck. Uh, like, 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 if we have a disagreement, what would we do? We we'll just fight. Like, how we always fight. But we don't really fight. But like, we'll we've just... never fought. And I don't want to fight you because I don't 
love Bro, I'm not gonna like, fight like, like, like this. Like, we're not gonna fist fight. Like, we're gonna go to a disagreement. I don't wanna fight with you like, like how you fight with all these Kanti Kuntas. No, 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 come here. Don't, don't. I'll put the food away. I don't want you to touch it. Guys, I gotta go. I gotta go put the food away. We'll talk later, okay? They said if we're real friends, it won't come to that. No, but you guys don't understand. Amber wants things done now, okay? They want me to answer the phone where they want me to answer the phone. I'm not good with that type of stuff. If I'm, not ha if I'm having a bad day, I don't want to talk that day. And they're like, no. Her husband's like, that's not how it has to be. You're a business owner, you answer the damn phone. There's no running when, you, when you're doing business. He also told me that we have to be willing to go like through with this for five years before we start seeing any real cheese is what he said he's like five years he's like are y'all willing to go through that you know what i mean so i guess we gotta talk amber drives me nuts like she doesn't she's good but she's like <laughs> yeah she doesn't give up yeah i don't know you say i don't say yeah talk to them while I'm what do you what do you guys say i missed it hey <laughs> Don't worry, it's just me talking to a phone. Oh, you want to say hi? Yeah. Hi! <laughs> okay, I have a question for you. So me and my friend Tanisha, we're thinking about going into business to the, together. Oh, wow. Um, like, it's a company, we work with accessories, sparkly jewelry, all kinds of fun stuff like that. We both don't like to listen. <laughs> oh. At all. Uh-oh. Do you think we could do a business together if we don't listen to each other? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of important. What what, do you, what advice do you have for us? Advice. Um, Make her oh, listen yeah. and not me. This is being recorded right now. Oh yeah, you didn't get that when I put the camera in your face. Hi. Oh. These are our friends. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Dane. Dane, I'm Amber. This is Tanisha. Um, yeah, and we're just trying to figure out like our business plan, kind of like see if we can do it together. I'm gonna give her a bunch of money, yeah. but I'm gonna make her put in a little tiny bit, so it's yeah. not like like it's all mine, yeah. you know? Because I've I've done four investments and I'm all for four, uh -oh. so like this will be my five. So and, like I want to like make it. like make some money at this one. This one will be the one. Right? You think? Uh, let's hope so. It could happen. Yeah. If you guys are good to each other, then yes. Yeah, so, like, do you think we're, we're really good together? Yeah. Like, okay. she just stayed at my house for a week. She cleaned my entire house. She cleaned my bathroom. She cleaned the bedroom she was staying in. Because she likes it clean, and I left it messy for her. What is the business? See, like, accessories. Focus on accessories. Oh, okay. Like necklaces, necklaces watches, purses, glasses, jewels, yeah. sparkly fun stuff. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, it's not really like what you're looking for, is it? Like, you don't, you don't want jewelry. Uh, it depends. I mean, I, I have, this is jewelry, right? Oh, what is that? It's uh, my bone necklace. Where did you get it? Uh, my mom. Your mom gave you that? Yeah, it's Christmas. No way! Yeah. Is it actually made out of a bone? Yeah, these whales. Yeah. Whales have bone. Yeah, I, they do, actually. I thought they were just like it's, blubber. No. Whales have bones. That's cool. I like it. I don't really wear jewelry, but my husband bought me this. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Not do you like it, girl? It's crazy, right? This is what I have to do. You see what I'm saying? So imagine a business partner that stops people who's trying to have a drink after work and just bob them. Huh? What'd you say? What'd you say? I... She might. She might. No, no, no. She's not flirting. Trust me. She's not leaving now. Honey. Trust me. She's not leaving. That's who she is. She would talk to you who was at the bar. So try to get a pool, what? And you said that what? That you don't need nothing on? Yeah, oh, that's fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know Will's that boy. And but, well, that's how she is. I'm telling you, you came to the bar right now. She's, she's a Scorpio. She will bother you. If you came and sat here right now, she will bother you. That's how she is. 
See, she look, look, look. She just stopped the other person. Yeah. The next person. Like, she saying hi to everybody. Bro. 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 So if this comes out, you don't know what to do. Go back. What do you make? I'm not that friendly. Like, I gotta be in the mood or super tipsy. This is start talking to random people. She's talking to three people at the bar. This is regular. Definitely a hard to go. Exactly. Kanisha, you huh? didn't know he owns his own business. Which one? He owns his own business. Yeah? What they own? Okay, I gotta go. Let me go find out information. It could be good. Yeah, her energy is lit. That's why we're friends, bro. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah, yeah. A cleaning business, like with people that that can clean her house. Oh, we need people now. Yeah, she needs help. This is crazy. Did not just take out. She needs like a full project manager to do the house thing. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna let y'all go because I know y'all busy. You know, Amber was a real one since she got jumped on the season and held her own. Always been her favorite, yeah. Oh, you're a Virgo like me. Yeah, so I'm a little standoffish. Until like I deem you safe, then I'm cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. You probably hear over her the guy down. So listen, I want to finish this. I promise I'll talk to you guys before I leave. Um, I know you guys want to see her one last time. We recorded some stuff. She made me record YouTube stuff. She made me. She made me. I didn't choose this outfit. I wore this the other day. She washed it. It was on the bed, iron, all wrinkly at the bottom. And So you can wear this today to match me. She crazy as fuck. I didn't even know she was in my bag. I was in the bathroom going through constipation. I come out my clothes and say, girl, girl, I went in the bathroom when I took the leave out to wash my hand. She came in the bathroom to try to wash me. Took my let her massage me. Cause she know my I never had nobody do that. Like I don't I don't even know how to feel about that. I think she saw my rose. I, I don't, I don't know if to feel violated or thankful. I, guys, it's weird. I'm, I'm going through some things. I'm going through some things. I don't know. It's wild. It's wild. I, I was in the bathroom going through constipation. Cookie came in. I finally ended up in the shower. I, I, all of a sudden, I see a light hand coming. She's like, I just wanted to rub you. I know you like that scalp massage earlier. <laughs> they cut the man. This man? Oh, he over it. Cause Cookie, look at this. Look, I'm gonna show you real quick. Look, my phone dying. Okay, look. Look, look, look. Hold on. So it's it's every day. It's every day. This is at the supermarket. This is at the pharmacy. This is at the doctor. This is Cookie. Oh, Cookie is at Amber Me. Let me put it here first. At Amber Newark. Me. No, I love her. I don't live in Newark. Newark, what? New Jersey. That's mad. What? I don't live in no damn Newark. The That's airport the airport. Yes. Yeah, Newark, New Jersey. Airport. No, I'm from New York, but I live in. Uh, okay, I just bought the airport code because you live in like billions of different places, I feel like. Okay, but it's definitely Jersey. Jersey. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Amber got what? All the what? Uh, yeah, yeah, gift the gas. Did you tell them that she's like a... I told them, yeah, you gotta get it, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and he said it'd be good because... Somebody got airplanes. They said, "Look at the guy." Oh, this guy. I'm sorry, I kind of bombarded. He's chilling. You don't mind? He's chilling. Huh? I had a couple of options. Look, I'm gonna accept the blessing if it's right for me. I don't just work with. I don't just do anything because I want to do it. I have been through enough in my life.
baddies was the last time I will ever put my damn that business comes with that, you guys. But it cannot be a place where I'm going to be in a, a constant state of turmoil, confu confusion, and drama. If it's going to be that, I don't want it. Call me crazy. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to make the bag, but I want to make it as peacefully as possible. You understand? Yeah. Move where? The Maui? Hell no. That's crazy. I'm a New Yorker. That's not happening. Uh -uh. We go back and forth. They have money. She can fly her in. I will not move to Hawaii, no. I will come visit more often for sure. Yeah. T, I'm still confused on you saying you don't like sucking. Goodbye. <laughs> not up for conversation today. Bye. <laughs> Okay, wasn't Amber a part of your wedding party? She was in the wedding, yes. Amber was a part of the wedding party, the divorce party, um, um, the reunion, until they stopped her from coming. Yeah. What about what? Hey, to the boutique? I don't know, I don't think we're gonna do that. Just accessories. Yeah. Yeah, I love that too, right? If it's right. She's making me do YouTube. I have no choice. You'll see it soon. She made me do it. She literally made the YouTube. She literally did everything for the YouTube. She did it. She did it. So, I have no excuse. It's done. Like, we have it. So, you'll see it soon. Like, there was no getting out of it this time. Yeah. Yeah. She wants to do a show. I don't I don't want to. I tell her she needs to do that shit. How's my hair? I'll pop in and out. You guys, I'm a host. That's what my passion is. Don't you see on sipping with tea? That's my passion. Like, that's what I want to do. And I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I love y'all. And I know you love me. But the constant filming? No, I don't want it. I don't want it. It's too much. I'm over it, bro. I'm, I would have I done it already. I don't want to do it. I told her today she was sad. Love you too. A podcast? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I love hosting. That's my passion. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a journalist, so it's very close to that, you know? And what I found that out is, like, in my 30s, is, like, to, in order to, like, really achieve your happiness... You have to get back to what, like, made you excite, excited as a child. I'm getting back to all of that. That's hosting for me. Oh, my God. The guy looks hot again. Let me see if you can see. Oh, look, 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 look. Because the phone's going to die. Yo, Amber just keeps going. And we got to go. We got to go. Can you see? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Look, 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 look. Oh, he took it off. He took it off. That was him right there. That was, you saw that? But he had to have me. I like. Anyway, yeah, you said what? I look so stressed out talking about filming. I am stressed. I don't like it. I don't like it no more. No. Daddy's was the last. Daddy's was the last. Unless it come with something that makes sense for me, I don't want it. I just don't want it. Fuck okay. it. Oh. She's hot. Wow. She's bad as fuck. Wow. She's hot. All right. Listen. He's fine? I know. Look at that. Yeah. With the hat thing? I was like, look at that. Amber don't forgot about me. Yeah. We're trying to get help. He's in the one I know. <laughs> oh, you like them big and heavy. You would have loved my boss coming today. Yeah. Yeah. The only two. Darlene has been consistently supportive and sweet to me throughout the years. The rest have thrown shade and have just completely cut me off once the show aired. I had no idea I was going to be as popular as I was once the show aired. So I got a lot of bullshit. You know what I mean? Cordelia, I don't know what happened to her. The last I heard, she was living in Australia. So I, I, I don't know. You know, she was like well off. She came from like a really good family, but they were pissed that she did Bad Girls Club. And then all the back, like when we did Bad Girls Club, when I did it, like the social media game was different. So it was a lot. It was a lot like there was MySpace 
it was like immediate, like direct access to us. Um, and she did not take it that well. So she kind of disappeared. Yeah. You thought me and Darlene fought? We did. She came at me sideways when she came from the club drunk. And she called me Taniva. You remember that? <laughs> I said, hold on. Hold on. What's my name? <laughs> yeah, I remember that like yesterday. First of all, you guys, I didn't even go to the club. I didn't even go to the club. I couldn't understand why I was in the drama. Yeah. Mm. Cody, let me make you a moderator in case you see anybody. Um, confirm. Yeah, so that's shout out to Cody. That's my homie. Um, Cody, you're now a moderator, so you can moderate the chat because you know I miss shit. Listen, they was the oxygen message boys, and I don't know if y'all knew about those. Those were brutal. Like, pretty much production had called me personally and told me don't go on so many racist comments so many horrible comments people hated me on those boards i don't know if the people hated me or if it was the cast but either way they were not easy to read but i have really thick skin so i got over it really quickly it was fine totally would i do the bad girls club again now no Back then, yes, because my life definitely, I don't know, yes and no. Yes, 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 my life changed because of it. I can't deny it. I would change what I did after my career blossomed and took off. I would change who I paired up with. Shout out to Clive, I love him, my ex-husband, but I would have not married him. No, no, I would not have. I wouldn't even waste my time. Um... I would have left all the men alone if I could go back. All of you. <laughs> all of you. All of you. Yeah. We're not going to get into that tonight. No, you're too real. It's all fake now and clout ridden. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a bit much. Are there any reality shows that's good right now? What about Young African and Rich? I love it on Netflix. It's good, right? Thank you, Queen. Hi, Marco. What you mean don't get you started on cloud? Shut up, Marco. <laughs> Marco, you just be trolling every night. I can't. I don't know where Clive is. If you don't ever have to worry about me, what's a problem? Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't ever have to worry about me ever was a person, it would be Clive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would I have done BGC4 instead of my um season? Um... Who I know uh Natalie was on that scene season. Portia was on that season. I don't remember who else. Uh maybe. Yeah, maybe. I was still young. Uh got divorced shortly after the marriage. About a month later, we were divorced. Hi, Melissa. Oh, marriage boot camp was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I did that rest in peace of Tracy. Me and Tracy got real close during that show. I actually, you know who I liked? Gretchen from The Real Housewives of Orange County. I thought we were going to be friends, but when we, like, shortly after she unfollowed me, and one of y'all told me, so I unfollowed her. I was like, fuck you. Like, I thought he was cool, so fuck you. I don't know. Yo, what's that? Oh, that's a, the chair, the table. Yeah. Um, I do, Ruby. Can you please send me a message? I do need a video editor. I need a website. I need a bunch of shit. Um, when I tell you guys, my brain is like spinning because I'm getting on a flight and I get, I'm getting off a flight and I'm going to work. Like I got to get jumping with my son. The school I put him in got all types of activities. Let me ask y'all because y'all have kids, right? Like young kids. Do they normally just drop things on you last minute? Like why am I finding out about parent teacher night is this week? I'm out the country. I mean, I'm out far away. Carrie's out the country. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Hey, babe. Good morning. Would you guys... What do you guys think? They need to quit. Listen, this house is so sick. I don't know. If I was Cookie, this would be... It's, I would try to have it spotless, but I don't think Cookie could do it with the kids. I don't even know where she disappeared to. Oh, there goes Mikey. There's Mikey in there playing the thing. Huh? No, I can't act for shit, you guys. I don't know if you heard the story. Cha, Tyler Perry brought me in for some auditions in Atlanta. Girl, I forgot how to read. Like, what? 
<laughs> but tell me the host. Tell me to report the news. Ask me the current events. Ask me to do a countdown. Like within 10 minutes of going on air, I'm killing it. Ask me to read a prompter like I'm not reading the prompter. I'm killing it. Ask me to read a script. You'd be like, this bitch is dyslexic. What? What? They had to ask me to redo the audition. It was that bad. Girl, I can't, I can't act. I don't know what it, I can't do it. I could sing a little bit, but I'm, uh, not my thing. I'm a host. Don't you see it? I like, I provide a vibe. You understand? Like, I want everybody to feel good. You know, chill. Let's, let's get a vibe going. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a host, baby. That's what I was born to do. My whole life, I wanted to be a news reporter or a journalist. And ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what I will be doing. I don't want to be doing anything else. I also love to executive produce. I did it with baddies, and I want to do it again. And hopefully, soon you'll see again. Yeah. Hey, Tanisha, can you speak on Hannah real quick? I, ha I have no idea where she is or what's going on, but I do wish her well. I haven't heard from Hannah in... Oh my God! And forever. Oh, that's pretty. And it just—you gonna put it on now? You gonna shower first? Huh? We love sparkly things. Okay, baby. I'll check the e DM for the editing. Thank you so much. Huh? I'm so sweet when I'm what grilling someone. <laughs> what was your favorite? Uh, BGC reunion to host. Ooh, none. <laughs> that, that shit is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's a night. You, I'm, I'm, guys. I am up. Oh, thank you so much. Um, deal. It's a nightmare. It's my day starts at five a.m. And I usually am getting back to my. I'm usually getting offset between. Depending on what's going on, anywhere from 7.30 p.m. to uh, midnight. And it's all those hours of chaos. Cast doesn't start rolling in until about 8.39. They are usually heavily intoxicated by lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a hard job. I love it, though. I loved it when I did it. Like, I loved it. Like, I'm built for it. I'm great for it. Like, who but me, right? Right? You know, from Brooklyn. Like, I'm still from Brooklyn. I have, I have, like, I can, I'm like a chameleon. I can, I can adapt. Listen, I went to school in Sheep's Bay. Nothing but Italians and Russians, okay? All right? There was some blacks, of course. So, I can blend in any environment, anywhere. I'm comfortable everywhere. I'm comfortable in the hood and Hollywood. Hello? Comfortable. So I can handle it, but it's a lot. Somebody said it gets to a point where it's no good for your energy. It's a lot. I, I literally left set one night. And then the next morning, I was telling Cookie today, one of the producers we really loved, um, hit me up and um, had a breakdown. And I was so confused and shocked, you guys. I always looked up to this person. This person was awesome, always bubbly, always happy. And... They had a breakdown with me on the phone over what just happened at the reunion. It's wild. My people's work with you and said, in Sheep's Bay, and they said you were always cool, but could definitely fight. Yeah, I didn't take no crap. But I was like in and out of school too. I had a lot of problems. Oh! Oh, Cookie, and it didn't come in time. Yo, that's the one you should have wore, Cooks. Open it. Open it. Look at this. Where this bitch going? Wait, hold on. You taking me to the airport like this? What? What? Let me see. You like it? I love this. This is what I wanted to wear to my birthday, but they didn't have so I ordered it online. But you. What? Clean what? The dress? Is, yeah, put on another dress now. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, no, I'm going to put on like sweats. 
to, to take me to the airport? Yeah, unless you want me to wear this. No, that's too much. You I'll, like I'll it? Yeah, you're in there. Luggage. Thank you, baby. Huh? Do you want me to park and carry your luggage in this? No, this is super cute cookie. I love it. Where would you like the luggage? I love that. Do you guys like it? Wait, yeah. let's see what they think. What do you think? Yay or nay? For the outfit. Hold on. They look good. They look nice. You say you look nice. It's cute, right? I love it. You want to get one? You want me to get you one? Um... Unfortunately, my boobs and my belly said thank you, but no thank you. But this is a hit on you. Wow. I like this. I knew it would be good. Yeah. Oh, suck in the stomach, though. Oh, yeah. There we go. Suck it in. That. Yeah, exactly. Nice. I mean, but a little bit of stomach looks good. You Let know, me like, see. Put it out. Let me see. Well, I'm not putting it all the way out. I'm just yeah. putting it out right now to this point. Like, this is where I hold it. Like, right. this is natural. Wow. Why would you do that on the live? Because you... <laughs> Yo, why true. would you do that on the live? Why would you... Suck it in. Ew. She's crazy. What you mean? What do you, you mean? You don't have a tummy. Kids. You have a tummy too. We all have tummies. First of all, I have two. <laughs> okay, okay, number one. <laughs> okay, number one. I have two. And second I just of all, suck it into this level. I don't when you're wearing like anything like this, you have to suck it in. That just goes oh, without no. saying the no. whole night. You no have to commit. Way. There's no way. There's no beauty comes with pain. No. You want to be pretty or not? Do you want to be so pretty? Cute. I think I look pretty just regardless if I suck it in or not. Yeah. Like, let me see. Yeah, fix that towel for me right now. This one? Yeah, make it neat, please. Thank you so much. I fixed everything very nicely. I don't know what you came in here and did. Cookie, cookie, that's how you fold a towel? Bro. It just what, what's this? I scrunched it together. There was a hole in it, so I just squished it so you can't see the hole. I'm leaving. The dress is very beautiful and you keep it. It's a winner. You guys. Where's the rest of them? Huh? She got a what? Get shapewear? You know, I never buy They're saying you're pretty on regardless. No. That's what I said. You need saying. shapewear. Oh, not shapewear, but you need no, she needs to I suck it in. You won't wear shapewear? It's Hawaii, no, it's too hot. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just let it hang on the I suck it in halfway. Yeah. It's half in, half out. Yeah. Somebody don't like my tummy. Fuck off. She don't care. She says, if you don't like her, tell me F off. That, this could never be me. I'm hiding my bellies it's every nice chance off. I get. Oh, but it looks nice. good. It's the confidence for, for y'all, right? Maybe it's for your dad. Yeah. No, I you have more dresses? Dad. More? No, I bought all... I don't know. I bought all this shit. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I just bought things. Mm. Why would I buy a championship? I'll shirt, be back though? before I leave, okay? All right, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. I must have got somebody else's stuff. What is that? Another yeah, dress? Yo, that's Mikey. Nike look, look at Mikey, crazy ass. Remember what we was telling you about him? Let's ask. Here, come interview Mikey. 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 We need a real house mom. So I was, telling, I was telling the friends, my friends, fans about you. Take a look at him. He's from Brooklyn. He's wild, bro. Wild. Yeah. Mikey, can you tell the people where you're from? Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> 41st and Flatbush. 41st and Flatbush. Just, just, just from, just from the, the bush, from the bush. And then you moved to where again? Uh, California. Then you moved to California. Yeah. That's one of Alan's besties. Like they were best friends you for like years. Yeah. He was My one. My dad, the judge said, <laughs> you will stay in jail for another 10 years or you go with your wife and go to California. Oh. And that was part of like the plea deal. Not the plea deal. You know what? You, I, Mikey, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. At first, when you was telling me that you're the undiscovered bad girl, I thought you was bluffing. <laughs> but after the week that I spent with you, you are. I'm a firecracker. You're, a, you're more than a firecracker, Mikey. You be getting turned up. All right. So let's, you. let's be careful with that. What's that called? Your, uh, your, um, a ukulele. A ukulele. Yeah, I know you. I could just see you banging it, breaking it. No, see, yeah, just wild, just All wild. Right, so, and uh, Amber schedules a New Jersey trip on there. You, oh, you coming through to New Jersey? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm gonna spark you one like last time. I with that baklava. No way. You're not in what? With that baklava. Yeah. Uh huh. What's this? This is yours. I don't know what these are. All right, guys. Are. I'm gonna talk to you later. Came. Mikey's crazy as hell. It's the what? Yeah, he said he was the undiscovered bad girl. And let me tell y'all, I thought it was BS until I spent the week here. He is. Yeah. <laughs> he is. And he's the manny. Okay? All right? Look at him with the baby. Yeah. He loves his little yeah. baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Charlie Joe. I love it. Yeah, bro. It's Charlie's wild. He's already talking. He just said apple today. I know. I heard him, bro. And then he was saying something else. Cookie, get your shoes off the, the mat. 
All right, let's clean up before I go. Guys, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Come say bye to them. This is probably like our last. Mm. Bye, guys. This is a whole week together for you, but you had a good time. You guys want to see him in the wildness? Yeah. They said cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks, did you have guys. a good birthday? Yeah, it was great. Really? You made it really special. Really? Just like you did at my wedding. Oh, yeah. mm, I make everything better. I'm like butter. Mm -hmm. Like brown butter, though. Dude, that brown butter fucked me up last night, though. But I'm yeah. not the brown butter that'll fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> that that they brown give it butter, to right, I was um, like, I was like why'd they give me brown brother? Yeah, on a, a plate, plate. On a just plate. A empty they gave her an empty plate with, with brown, brown butter. butter on it. Yeah, it was wild. And told yeah. me that's what we're doing. I want to miss you, cooks, man. And yeah, we got work to do potentially, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we got to figure it out. I know. Don't trust me out tonight, please. Please don't start. I'm leaving. I got a Good night, you guys. Say bye. He said bye already. You done? I think so. Okay. I think he said bye. All right, you guys. Yeah, they put brown butter on the um on the plate at Ruth Chris. I don't know what was going on. I had gas all night, bro, and I love Ruth Chris. Maybe I just full of gas. Who knows? Yeah. They said clean the kitchen. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Cookies. She has maids, bro, and the house doesn't stay clean. I, I've been cleaning nonstop. I'm gonna straighten up before I leave, because that's just how I am. But guys, I have been cleaning nonstop. The kids. And everyone coming in, they treat it like a hotel. And I'm telling her she doesn't need anybody else coming through here. Because, like, people, even the mother-in-law is complaining. Like, it's wild. It's not dirty. It's just shit everywhere. She just got a bunch of... It's how to clean it, bro. Look, you got to do better. Nice-ass house. I could never. I can't. I can't think like this. I just can't. Anyway, you guys have a great night. What you said? What? Tanisha, you're on vacation, don't clean. <laughs> Cody's. I can't help her, Cody. I can't see this shit. So I am going to help her tidy up a little bit before I head out, out of here. All right, you guys. Have a great night, and I will see you um, home. Okay? Yeah. I know it's the Caribbean. I do have OCD a little bit. Just a little bit. It's the West Indian for me, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm going to tidy up a little bit because I can't, I can't take a cookie. That's the, the, the bag that was on the thing. Where's the Lysol?